I am Robert Tandor. I bring you the latest in the world of sport. Good afternoon. Let's get talking right here, right now. Now, a board member of Accra Great Olympics, the team that's causing all the brouhaha in the um, Ghana uh, Football Association, uh, is saying that, um, or he's denying allegations that his club were actually um, putting up um, measures to demoralize the Ghana Football Association and thwart its efforts in wanting to start the 2017-2018 season. Now, Fred Papo, we popularly know him as Pap Say, says the Ghana Football Association should have followed the rules to prevent any injunction from his club. I think it's a very funny and uh, very un very avoidable situation. Ah, who doing one? You wonder at the capacity of people uh, running our game who have to take decisions. A very simple case. It's, it's, it's even too simple to the extent that you wonder at why we are where we are and why these kind of things are happening. Our case is simple. We believe that in the match we played, I think March with 30, played sometime in October last year. I believe it's here, our opponents included an unqualified player or whatever it is. That's the premise. We cannot get up and say, say, we have to do unqualified player and we have to get two points and we have two points and we have two the rules and regulations which guide our game are we yeah, agree on. We went to several congresses and then developed this body of rules and regulations to guide our game. She will say, if such a case happens, there are steps that have been prescribed. You go, you apply to the FA within a certain time. All right, so away from Accra Great Olympics and their court, uh, their court injunction, let's talk about Asante Kotoko. And their head coach, Steve Pollack, is optimistic of his outfit making it into the group stage, at least, of the 2018 Confederation Cup, as he predicts defeat for Kara of Congo in the first preliminary round. The MTNFA Cup champions host the Congolese outfit in Kumase in a first leg of the first preliminary round match on February 11, 2018, with a return match slated for Brazzaville for 20th or 21st of February of this year. Um, the players have been, well we've been here since uh, last Wednesday, Thursday, which I thank the management very much for, for letting us be here for so long, 10 days. And so the preparations are going in the right direction. Um, the attitude of the players is good. When we train, we're training hard, we're having meetings uh, now and then in the evenings, going through on the big screen, I have it on my computer, what we're going to be doing on Sunday, then we put it into training. Like example tomorrow, we'll go, we'll look today and we'll go through it in, in the training tomorrow. So preparations is going in the right direction. This, this is the first time your guys are camping so close to the training grounds. Tell me how they are adapting to this, this new environment and how they are adapting to the, to the training regimen. It's good. Um, it's good to be close to the training ground and it's like today example, we had, um, it was like an open day training. So you can go there if you want to with me. And actually, there's quite a lot of players that turned up because it's, it's like a free day today. Because Check out more on myjoyonline.com forward slash sports. I tweet at the handle at Barbatando. Same for Instagram. Good afternoon.